So guys, if you want a live representation of what my Instagram DMs have looked like over the past 24 hours, let me put it into a video form. And no, Logan Paul started collecting Pokemon cards. No, dude, Pokemon I'm not sure. I know Logan Paul started collecting uh, Pokemon Logan cards. Started and no, Logan Paul started collecting you know that Pokemon. That is right, guys. None other than one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform, an ex-Vine star, social media sensation, Jake Paul. Ha no, uh, uh, it's his brother, Logan Paul. Logan Paul has started collecting Pokemon cards. Now, this is absolutely huge, and you guys will not let it go. You're like, Ando, you got to react to his first ever Pokemon card video on YouTube. We want to know your opinion on it. Is he telling any lies? Is he actually interested in the cards? And I'm really keen to have a look at it. I had a brief skim through yesterday, and the video is to do with him buying a 200000 dollars booster box. He bought a first edition Shadowless base set box. It's ridiculous, and I knew that he bought it a couple of weeks ago, so now that he's announced it, it's crazy. I'm keen to see what he's doing with it, and we can look at this video together. So this is really exciting. Saturday, August 22nd, 7.42 p.m. I get a text from my old pal Gary V. Yeah, you seen this sports card thing? Of course. Side note, he's talking about the recent boom in sports They're huge. Sports cards are huge right now. There was a lot of money to be made investing in sports cards, but unfortunately, I don't know anything about sports cards. Yep, but I did collect Pokemon cards when I was younger, I told him. Brother, it's the new art. Pokemon, ironically, at the top. Yep. Get educated on Pokemon. Let's do it. All right, f it. I'm going to do it. I love Pokemon. Shouldn't be too hard. And it wasn't. Meet Jake, a collectible guru, also known as Collectibles Guru. Oh, no, I don't follow that page. It's enough to sell me seven of these little pieces of cardboard for $50,000. No way. Okay, 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 let's stop, 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 stop. Okay, let's go over what he's buying so far. Okay, so the video is only a minute in and he's already spent $50,000 on Pokemon cards. Well, let's have a look at what he's buying and what he's investing in. So, let's go back a bit to the first card. Okay, so the very first card right here is investing in first edition Shadowless Raichu, which is a uh, basic card, absolutely fantastic purchase. Evolution of like a really popular Pokemon, Pikachu. So, that's already slapper to start with. I can't see the grade. I presume it's like a 9 or a 10. Then it was a uh, BGS Chansey, I think. Oh, wow, that is sick. Okay, so then he's going to got a uh, BGS, which is a Beckett card. Um, and that's a 9 out of 10, but he got a first edition Shadowless Chansey. So he's obviously buying a lot of base set. I think that's what a lot of people that get into this straight away do. They go and get the most like nostalgic cards. Fair enough. So we've got a Raichu, a Chansey, both first edition and Shadowless. Oh, and then he's got a Shadowless, but not first edition um, Blast Toys. Absolutely epic. I don't know the grade in that one either, but... Oh, and then there's a Venusaur as well. And then there's a first edition signed Gyarados. That's a banger. I mean, for any collector that has that, that would probably be their most prized possession. And he's just gonna bought that on top of the cards he just got. And it gets worse. Just oh, wait. wow, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize this. On top of the Gyarados was an Alakazam sneaky that was just in there. And then a Charizard. He bought a PSA 9 first edition Shadowless Charizard on the first go round. But he actually got it for a slapper of a price. He said he got all that for 50 grand. That's a good deal. Well, nowadays it is. All of the cards have red labels. Red labels are PSA. This one is BGS. Base set, first edition, Shadowless. First edition, thin stamp, thick stamp. Okay, so what is this guy saying? PSA 9, BGS 10, STD 69, blah, blah, holograph, first edition, BSA Charizard. What is what? that stuff? Let's Let me break it down. Okay. When it comes to card collectibles, there are two main grading services, yep. PSA and BGS. Nice. Grading means they rate the card. The higher the rating, the more valuable. The older the card, the more valuable. Yep. And the rarer the card, the most valuable. And this dark blue shadow behind it decreases the value. And the sure, only sure. difference on one you get a stamp, on one you get a shadow. All right, I'm going to keep this simple. Pokemon first released what is called, not surprisingly, the first edition base set. This is good. This is a really good explanation. Stamp on the cards. These have the most value. Yep. Second release did not have this stamp and is also known as the shadowless set. Still nice. highly valuable valuable because of the lack of shadow behind the Pokemon, which the following set, the regular base set, did have. Nice. So first, first edition stamp. Yep. Second, shadowless. Yep. Third, base set. Nice. Has a shadow. Got it? Dude, this is sick. This is actually a really good explanation guide. And I think you got to look at it in Logan Paul's terms. His entire audience probably doesn't care too much about Pokemon cards, whether you guys, I think, watching my videos know already so much about Pokemon cards. You might already know this, but for anyone that's just getting into it, this is the greatest and most simple explanation you could probably show anyone. So, Logan, you've nailed it, man. Let's keep going with the video. We're only two minutes in, but already I've learned stuff and he's made a solid investment. This is the one? Yeah, this is the one. The holy grail of cards. Yep. This is a nine. That's it, it the Charizard. This card is a $25,000 piece of cardboard. 
and <laughs> you will literally be able to sell it probably between 35 and 40,000 by Christmas. And I think while we're on the Charizard talk, um, a lot of you guys keep asking for my old school Charizard collection or like for me to show you what Charizards I have at the moment because I haven't done it in a while. So super quickly, we'll get back to the video, but for two seconds, I'll show you the Charizards I got at the moment. And I think it should put into context like what he's buying and the magnitude of what he's investing in right now. All right, so if you guys really want it, let me know if you want a Pokemon card room tour because it's way overdue. But I thought I'd tempt you guys a little bit. And obviously, since Logan's showing off his Charizards, let me show you a couple of my ones that I've got out at the moment. And if you guys want a proper room tour, I'll get them all out and we'll do a massive card update. All right, so obviously you got the original Charizard signed by the artist itself, certified by PSA, so it's an authentic original signed by the artist. Then you got the base set too, which is the reprint Charizard. Um, that's basically the same thing as that, but it came out as a reprint, so not quite worth as much, still the same art. Then you got the Shadowless Bad Boy. So as he said, it goes like first edition, then it goes Shadowless, then it goes uh, regular with the Shadow and Unlimited. So we got a cool Shadowless one right there, PSA graded again. And then this is like a Holy Grail, it's not quite the original Charizard, but the signed Sky Ridge Crystal Charizard. Now, if you're not a fan of the PSA, you do have Becky cards as well. So we got the original Beckett Charizard, which is really, really nice. And if you want to go further back than this, which a lot of people don't know exists, you got the original, like, prototype Pokemon cards right here. And this is the original Charizard, PSA graded again. And let's not even talk about the newer stuff, guys. We'll save that for the Yard uh, Room Tour. Now, I could already tell that I was going to like yeah. this. It's nostalgic, it's a strategic investment, and most importantly, I was having so much fucking That's fun. That's what it's all about, so, man. So, I started oh, buying no. more. He's buying a lot. And more. Oh, wow. And more. Logan, you crazy, man. So many Charizards. Oh, these are so cool. <gasps> One of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. Dragonite Fossil Card, Gengar First Edition Fossil Card, Pikachu with Yellow Cheeks First Edition Fossil Not Fossil Card, just Pikachu with Yellow Cheeks. <laughs> As my collection grew, so wait, did wait, my wait. excitement for the hobby. We're gonna pause it. Okay, pause it, pause it, pause it. Let's all- Oh my- Okay, how many Charizards can you count in this photo? Oh, can I see a seven? Maybe? I don't think so. I think he's got six Charizards at this point of the video. So we're about three minutes in. He's already bought six Charizards, a bunch of Blastoys. I think Blastoys is probably his favorite, but he knows Charizard's gonna go up in the future. And then Venusaur, you gotta have all three, so I think he's bought a couple of those. But that's my understanding so far. Yo, and a lot of these are first edition. Money cards, super expensive. Now I can see on the table as well, he has invested in a couple of Neo cards. So like, everyone always goes around the original base set, the original 151, but as you can see on the table here, he has got a couple of Neo cards, which is the second generation of Pokemon. So he is learning about Pokemon and expanding his reach beyond the original set, which I think a lot of people get caught up in. So this is showing he's going a lot more in depth than probably people give him credit for. So, let's keep it going. <laughs> I found out instead of buying the cards outright, you could even buy what's called a booster box, which comes with 36 packs of cards, 12 of which are guaranteed to have a holographic card. Yep. Mode. If just one of those cards yep. is a Charizard, you hit the jackpot. In fact, Josie actually pulled one no from way. a random base pack I bought. <gasps> oh, wow, what did she pull? What did she pull? What did she pull? Okay, okay, let's go back. What what did Josie pull? That looked like a um, full blown. Was it first edition or Shadowless? Uh, okay, that's a regular. Okay, so it looks like Josie just opened a regular base set. But, Paul, you gotta understand, Charizards are so popular right now. Just pulling a regular Schmegular Charizard like that, money. And fresh out of a booster, you're probably looking at a PSA 10 or a PSA 9. That's a banger of a pull. Um, let's keep going. Josie, congratulations. I hope you kept that card for yourself. And then she ended up doing it again. Bro, shut up. No way. Oh my god, pause, pause, pause. What'd she get? Okay, that's the that's the same one. He's opening actual heavy base set Pokemon packs, which is so ex like it's kind of expensive to start with. And I get Logan Paul's very rich, so it probably doesn't mean much to him, but that's very expensive to start with. But wow, the fact Josie went and got two Charizards out of the base set, this isn't like um, base set 2. This isn't Legendary Collection where they've reprinted. This isn't Evolutions where they reprinted the card. This is genuine base set cards that he's opening up and he's getting Charizards out of. I'm blown away. So if he's adding to the original collection, he now has about 8 Charizards from the base set. What the heck? I'm inspired to buy more Charizards. But I admit, I was in too deep and my obsession was growing. I was about to hit the pinnacle of this the Pokemon be period. period. And look what's oh, on the screen. Wow. This is a first edition booster box. And it's a lot of That's crazy. money. And uh, I'm about to bid on it. 
You don't think I'm gonna do it, dude? <laughs> yeah. I remember when this auction was going on live, everyone was reacting to it. Everyone was like, who's gonna buy this booster box at a record price? All right, the auction's starting. Here we go. What do you reckon he buys it for? I don't actually remember the final price of the uh, booster box, but let's do it. First edition, first prints. These cards are in very high grade. Okay, it's up to 170 grand right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm so worried for him. You think he's gonna get it or not? 165. Okay, it's up to a hundred. Oh wow. He won. He won at 170, I think. Wow. So it sold for 170 USD, which is I'll put on screen how much Australian that is, but it's a lot of money. So right now in this video, he's bought like 50 grand at the start, already gone up to over 100 grand. He's pulled two Charizards. He's now bought a 200,000 dollar box. Where is this video going? And this is the most mind-blowing entry into a Pokemon card scene I've ever witnessed on YouTube. This is awesome. I am holding in my hand the rarest, most expensive box he of Pokemon cards. He got it. It's actually at his plan. house. This is Only took two weeks insane. to ship. Look at how beautiful this is. All right, so obviously that's stunning. That's a really nice looking box. It deserves to be a spectacle. Wow. And that is why on October 9th at 6 p.m. PST, <laughs> I will be opening this world record setting $200,000 box of oh, first edition Pokemon yeah, cards right. live on this YouTube channel. And here's the kicker: I am selling all the packs. Well, I'm selling 35 of the packs. I'm going to keep one for me. And opening them on behalf of the buyers oh, with a shout out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Charizard is a $200,000 card. Or maybe a couple. I heard there can be anywhere from one to like three in these boxes. Woo! If you're a serious buyer, go to loganslivestream.com slash Pokemon or the link is in the description. This is going to be historical. So again, October 9th, oh, next my Friday, goodness. 6 p.m. PST. Live on this channel. So hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and we will see you then. I got two more awesome Pokemon videos coming. Yes, I'm obsessed, but I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace. Okay, so I think we need to talk about that ending right there. Holy flipping smokes. What's he doing at the $200,000 booster box? He's gonna open it on a live stream, but the thing is he doesn't want to keep the packs inside because he doesn't want to lose $200,000. That's what I do. Every time I open a box, I lose all the money because I invest in it and I just hope I pull cards that... I don't even hope I make the money back. Let's be honest. When I open cards on YouTube, I lose the money. I don't care. I open it because it's fine. But Logan, he's probably a smarter man than me and he's selling the packs inside to people that buy them. So he's selling the boost packs for 11,000 USD each. So what happens is, say I bought an $11,000 boost pack off him, I would pay him 11,000 USD. Brrr, that's like a used Toyota, but I would, you know, give him the cash and then on his live stream, he will open one pack for me because I paid him the money and then whatever he gets out of that pack, he will send and ship to me. But the thing is, he gets to open it on his live stream and, you know, he gets to have the fun. I get to have the fun of watching it, but I get to keep the cards inside. So what the advantage to this is, I buy the 11,000 USD booster off him. He pulls Charizard worth $200,000. I've made 190,000. Now, my question to you guys is, do I buy a booster off Logan and get him to open it on the live stream? It's huge money, like 15, maybe more. I don't know, probably around 15 grand Australian. Which is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I could probably sell something and buy it. If this video, I'll do a like goal, I reckon. We'll do one dollar for every thumbs up. So if this video gets 15,000 thumbs up, that'll generate $15,000 and I will buy a booster off Logan. Now, Logan Paul actually DM'd me and he watches my videos, which I am so thankful for. Uh, so shout out to Logan if you actually are watching these, like, I don't know, this video or any of my content. I really do appreciate that. So if this video gets 15,000 likes, I will reach out to Logan Paul and buy a booster off him. And that would be mind blowing, but I don't know, it's up to you guys. If it gets 15,000 likes, I don't know. I mean, I could probably even buy a first edition pack, open it on the channel if that's something you guys wanna see. Let me know. Anyway, I'm nervous. I've got the shakes, but keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video, guys.